When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Hi there, welcome to Metro Last Light. Uh, this is going to be Ranger Hardcore. Uh, I don't agree with the Predator thing, but uh, that's been ba basically beaten to death, so I'm not really going to talk about that all that much. Um, the only difference that you'll see is I do have graphics on high, physics on, and also auto aim is off, which is a uh, any hack. Uh, can't change FOV, so sorry I can't do anything about that. So here we go. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Just <laughs> That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here?
Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive. And I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact. Before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan! I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. So, welcome to Metro Last Light. Uh, this story is based upon the normal or sort of evil ending. And, uh... I'm going to be trying to go and be good, uh, because that last time yielded the the choice between good and bad, it, and uh, it gave me two endings. Uh, so it's obviously what I want to go here. Or I can't guarantee it though, because I'm this is my first run through this game. I played like a couple minutes of it on my own. Oh yeah, rock. You get to kind of look around his uh, little little apartment. Away from home, and Dark One's men are scary. RTO is the best at guitar. Four guys live here? And this guy has all the guns. Can I have one? Oh. And this guy has all the music. You can tell it's really important to some of these people. Привет, Артём. Артём was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, it's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? And did D6 save them? No. They couldn't reach it in time. And here, it stood for 30 years until our guys stopped us. Like finding up until I thought he was in the hospital from the attack on the Great Library. Discharged last week, so his squad has sent through the marshes to the George base. And Romanov's the only one who makes it there alive. You're shitting me! The rest of the group? Wiped out? The marshes are easy. You just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so you don't drown. A child could do it. Well. Okay, the shrimps always gave you hell, but come on, what could take a whole squad down? No idea. They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> but Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> Useful knowledge about the swamps. We heard the whole thing, so we got a point for it. <laughs> Look at those two rookies. Carry on. Pathetic. No wonder the colonel ordered the training Chopper. time double. Move sharper. This guy's like holding his revolver out. What the hell are you doing? Tighten your gun. And I guess this is how they take showers here. Good. Doing good. So this is where they train. about what you did. Respect, man. Word is, there's shit in the marshes. Maybe worse than the Dark Ones. Stay out of there. <laughs> that was a mighty fine barbecue you made of those Dark Ones. Hello, Artyom. 
Welcome to the armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation's still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. Now, med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Haha, <laughs> all right. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Well, so there's a whole bunch I can have here. So I guess I'll take like uh, the the. So we got the valve, which is like uh, um, it's a basically a rifle, like it's basically for sniping. Uh, the Kalash is uh, Kalash. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. Same thing as before. Uh, there's an RPK, AKSU, a bastard, and the Shambler and the revolver. So, um, the weird thing about this one is, this is actually much different, and, like, I can actually have some really interesting choices of weapons, so, I chose this one. So I can have, like, a silence from this one. So I installed that one. Oh. Yeah, okay, we're, we're done. It, the controls are really awkward. Okay, so I have the silence from that one now. I don't know, I can go through that one. Are good for long range targets. You don't want to get caught with your pants down if something creeps up behind you. And I install that. There you go. Okay, now I have that on. So now, like, I only have two slots. I'm guessing because uh, maybe I'm supposed to have the pistol with me. It, it looks like I'm. Oh, you know what? It might be. It might be the difficulty I chose. It just occurred to me. But uh, it's it's interesting because you get you get like a selection of a whole bunch of weapons here. That's kind of cool. Let's get an RPK actually, uh, and uh, we'll put a sight on it. Sure. Install that. So kind of interesting stuff. So you get to kind of try out stuff. And I'll show you how this one looks. So they give you a nice headshot ability. Want to try another gun? I have a fine selection. It seems kind of weird because I, I had I had more slots than this before. I had three, and it, this happened my second time as well. But uh, you know, what, I'll just leave it for now. I'm gonna assume it's related to the difficulty. I'm not sure why that happened. The colonel says someone already built the beans. The stations are crawling with rumors. Each light crazier than the last. Sure. Food for 10 million. Super weapons, secret machinery. And others claim there's a radio down here powerful enough to contact the bunkers in Siberia, where the president and the government are holed up. Yeah, it's madness. No way. The base is clear. At least the part we're in. They've checked it. Yesterday, the commander and I checked the doors. Lots of them are still sealed. Some are welded shut. There's a few that look like they were locked from inside. So what? So there's radioactive shit behind some of those doors. Hot enough to bake an egg. Can't remember the last time. I ate an egg. Look. There's a reactor here, right? On the other side of the facility. I'm not sure it's safe here. Maybe this place wasn't designed as a shelter. What else? No idea, but I wouldn't fuck with any of the sealed doors. Hey, let's call the group leaders in. There's going to be a big assembly. Please, oh, let me smoke in peace. 
I was on duty in the Situation Room yesterday, so I heard something. Seems like there's all kinds of things stirring up. What do you mean? The Reds are mobilizing. They've recruited old men, schoolboys, sent them off to training camps. I tell you, war is coming. Who are they going to fight? The usual suspects, probably. The Nazis. It reminds me. The sentry stops I spotted three recon groups of Reich stalkers. Strange. The Nazis have never been outside in such numbers before. Three groups, you said? Where? Two of the squads came close to this place. Serbia, so. The Nazis checked the vents, the cellars, as if they were searching for an entry point. Shit. Think they know we found D6? Hard to say. Maybe. This is not good. If they do try to get in, they're finished. Miller has tripled the guards. True. He knows about the Nazis. But if we eliminate the scouts, they'll just seem more. If they do get in, you think the Order can hold off the Reich? Slow down. The Order is neutral. We are the guardians of the entire Metro. We protect our fellow humans from monsters and mutants. What state would dare go to war against us? Let me finish the story. There was a third group of Nazis, remember? They were seen at exhibition on the surface. We had sentries there, scalpel at most. They were reporting in, so the Nazis were charging them. And the line were dead. Wait, Rost is missing in action? No, not missing. He was found dead. Along with Scarlet. A dozen rounds in each one. Finished with headshots. Shit. It was just his birthday last week. We had a drink. What kind of sick fucker would do that to him? Sorry, I kind of just like listening to the dialogue. It's interesting. I don't see any places bullets, so... Yeah. Pay no attention to this clown, Alex. Open the gates. Ah, oh, looks like a lot of bullets. Have you heard about Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check with the guards at the lab. Shit. What the hell did he do? Opening up. All right, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this banker. Cut that shit out. Welcome to D6. The things in D6 are like what the conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? Okay, I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open, and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone! Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's, that's all I heard. <sighs> God damn it. The Colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red hot poker right into my soul. If it's not happening. All right, let's go. We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, they base the order dream of finding. The guys just came back from the ring. They say Hansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially the ones close to the Nazis. We just left the briefing. Two Nazi assault teams have started a fight with raids somewhere on the surface. Over what? Let me find out. What are they doing on the surface in the first place? They never went there in such numbers before. HQ thinks they're looking to break into this place. Well, you couldn't hide the news forever, and now they're all salivating over D6. Ah, seems like we'll have to share. With hungry wolves? <laughs> they're going to share you, bro. And then each other. They've never touched the Order before. Because the Order was like a hedgehog. No meat to speak of and too much trouble getting to it. But now we have lots of meat, and they all want to bite. Did you hear about Scalpel and Ghost? 
Miller ordered all our men assembled here on this base. Let's hear what he has to say. Kerman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. The connection with the Dark Ones. Yes. People died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Orders ever faced. Colonel, just... Give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna could have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire Metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Well, this is all the time we have for today. Or this episode. Uh, next time we'll continue, so see you later. Bye.